Hi and welcome to the installation video of the Yuma Air High Flow Dual Hole Transfer Port. In the previous video, link up in the corner of the screen, we had an overview and closer look at this piece of kit. Now we'll be installing it. The two barrels I will be installing it on is a 500mm 22 caliber for the FX Dreamline and a 600mm 25 caliber for the FX Impact. Installation process on all the FX barrels is exactly the same except for the super light ones because it's a little bit different to remove the pellet liner. I have a link up in the corner of the screen where you can see how to remove the pellet liner on my FX Dreamline Tactical Compact and any other super light barrel. Now, first we have to shoot them over the chronograph to get the baseline with the original transfer port and pellet probe, then we will start installing it. Follow me. So now that we have our baseline, we can start installing the Yuma Air High Flow Dual Hole Transfer Port. Since the installation process on both of the barrels is exactly the same, I will be showing you only one on camera and do the other one off screen. First job you will have to do, remove your shroud. Now the shroud is removed, we will remove the pellet liner, take a 10mm wrench. And undo the nut. I like to take the pellet liner completely out. Once the pellet liner is out, we'll have to remove the two outer o-rings and the one inside. The outer o-rings are a little bit simpler than the inner one. Just squeeze it up like this, so it cups a little bit. Remove the first one, push it up like this, remove the second one. The inner one is a little bit more tricky, make sure you don't damage it, you can maybe still use it afterwards, like this. Now it's time to remove the original transfer port, this piece is Loctite on, so what I like to do is to clamp it in a vise, heat it up so the Loctite gets soft and then we can just undo it. Follow me to the bench and I'll show you. Now, when you put it in the vise, always make sure you have some padding on the inside so you don't damage your pellet liner when you clamp it down. Then I use like a punch or something that fits nicely into the transfer port so we can have some leverage on doing it when we heat it up. Take your heat source, in my case it's a small torch from Dremel and start applying heat to the base of the brass part. The glue is soft enough, you should be able to turn it off just like this. Just remember, make sure the brass part is really hot, so you don't burn yourself. Back here at the table, we successfully removed our original transfer port, but before we screw on the Yuma Air transfer port, we still have to clean the threads on the barrel sleeve. To remove the remaining glue, I slightly heat it up. So the glue gets soft. And then I take a fine pick and clean the threads like this. You can also of course take a copper wire brush and clean it out 
but I just like to do it this way. So now that the threads on our barrel sleeve are clean, we can take the Yuma air transfer port and make a test fit to see if you can screw it all the way down without any resistance, just like this. And this one seems to work great. Now we still have to fix this again with some Loctite. And for this I like to use this blue Loctite. One drop is enough. Just like this. Take your Yuma transfer port, screw it all the way in and back it out just a little bit so the Loctite gets even divided between all the threads. Make sure it's tight. Take one of the other O-rings, make sure it's not damaged and put it back on. Slide it down to there. And we're almost finished. Now take your pellet liner to put it back in. Space your O-rings. Make sure the notch on the pellet liner goes towards the end. So this goes in first. It's nice and seated on the end. Take your nut, slide it back over. Snug it up. It doesn't have to be gorilla tight so you don't bend the pellet liner inside. And now you can reinstall your shroud. So both Yuma air transfer ports are installed, the 22 caliber we did on camera and the 25 caliber I did off camera. Installing is one thing, let's see how they perform. So, as you could see, that gave an instant increase of 20 to 30 feet per second just by adding the Yuma Air high flow transfer port without changing any settings on the gun. I've heard from some ex experienced tuners that they have spent some time with this transfer port and with some proper tuning you can easily get between 60 to 80 feet per second out of this setup extra. This is because the Yuma Air transfer port takes the limiting factor out of the airflow. My guns are not pushing the maximum amount of air and therefore the increase is not that high. So let's take this Dreamline for example, increase the regulator by 5 bar and the hammer spring by one full turn and see what a difference that makes. So as you could see those small changes made already quite a difference and probably there is even more to gain through some proper tuning of the gun. So in my conclusion the Yuma Air high flow dual hole transfer port is money well spent. That's it for this video, I hope you found it interesting and helpful, I thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you back next time, bye.